Good afternoon, I'm Liz Reyes. Thanks for joining us. We've got some new information on that horrific story we've been following. 29-year-old Joseph Washington was arrested yesterday after he allegedly set his ex-wife's house on fire with his eight, five and three-year-old children still inside the home. He now faces three counts of murder. Now, friends and family also telling us a mother of the children, she's been hospitalized. A memorial at the victim's house, meanwhile, in Little Woods area of New Orleans is growing. Chris Welty is live. He joins us with the latest, Chris. Liz, yeah, this memorial continues to grow. It's been an incredibly emotional time here on America Street since this tragic fire happened. Uh, as you can see, there's a ton of stuffed animals. There's cards and posters. Uh, the grandfather did place some uh, charred photos of the kids out here next to the memorial. Those have since been removed. But, uh, of course, a lot of people have been coming to light candles as well. A lot of people just wanting to wrap their arms around this family. I did speak with uh, the family on the father's side, and they told me that they are incredibly grateful for the outpouring of love and support. They tell me that people from across the region have offered condolences and support. Of course, everyone is still trying to process exactly what happened here. Now, I was told that uh, a lot of these neighbors, they did build these homes together. These were Habitat for Humanity homes, so they all were pitching in, putting these homes together, and also watching their families grow up, uh, watching those, or also celebrating those big milestones. Uh, you know, whenever someone was pregnant, watching their bellies grow, uh, celebrating birthdays and holidays together. So it's, of course, just an incredibly difficult time for everyone on the street to just process exactly what happened. And also, since we've been out here, we have seen just pieces of this house that, of course, is a total loss following this fire, but pieces of this house just falling down. So uh, it's just a very difficult time but take a listen to somebody that we uh interviewed earlier today she says that she was out here at the memorial last night and she felt compelled to come back again this morning oh the god i'm so upset right now and just to just be with her and give her what he knows she need because this is going to be really hard for her to deal with and if i could just find her right now i would love to give her a hug i probably Hug her for five minutes or longer because this is hurting for her. I promise y'all, it's hurting for her. Hurting not only for that mother, but the entire community. Now, family tell us that the mother is currently hospitalized. Uh, just very just a very, very tragic and difficult situation to process, a lot of emotion. Now the community, they will be coming together tomorrow night for a vigil that's supposed to take place at six o'clock. They're also asking for donations to help cover funeral expenses. Liz.